Hi, and welcome to week 16 of U.S. history. So this will be the first week of the term. And um, the first thing that we will want to do is dedicate a session to a comprehensive review where we will delve into the key concepts and address any questions or, concern, or concerns you may have about the midterm exam. The lesson plan for our review will include a thorough analysis of the exam questions, emphasizing both correct answers and common misconceptions. This process aims to provide clarity on challenging topics and enhance your understanding of the material. Additionally, we'll engage in interactive discussions, allowing you to actively participate in the review process. So please come prepared and have a willingness to collaborate as we work together to reinforce your comprehension of the subject matter. I'm confident that this review will be a valuable learning experience, which will foster, foster your academic growth and prepare you well for the remainder of the semester. So I definitely look forward to that. As for the material and content itself of US history, so, this, uh, this week, we're going to take an in-depth look at um, about the industrialization and the factors that encouraged industrialization. So, what do we mean by that? So, there are um, factors, motor, catalysts, so to say, that sparked industrialization in the U.S. One would be the convergence of abundant natural resources. Okay, a growing labor force and technological advancements, which created an environment conducive to industrial growth. We'll explore how factors such as the availability of raw materials, a burgeoning population, and a robust transportation infrastructure played pivotal roles in shaping the industrial landscape of the time. We'll also look at how free markets helped spur that growth as well. Moving forward, we'll delve into the remarkable impact of new inventions, scientific discoveries, and technological ed innovations during this era. These advancements not only fueled economic growth, but also significantly improved the standard of living for many. So from the steam engine to the telegraph, we'll examine how these technological breakthroughs revolutionized industries, enhanced productivity, and ultimately, positively influenced the quality, the quality of life for a substantial portion of the population. Our exploration during the week will continue in and into an analysis of the challenges faced by the South in both industry and agriculture during the late 1800s. So despite the overall economic boom around the country, the South grappled with the legacies of the Civil War. Uh, agrarian struggles, which means the challenges of an agriculture-based economy, and a slow industrialization process will dissect the complexities of this regional dichotomy, shedding light on the hurdles that hindered the South's economic progress during this important period. Finally, we're going to turn our attention to the strategic management innovations that businesses implemented to bolster their profits. So from new production methods like the assembly line to innovative in innovative marketing strategies, uh, we'll analyze how businesses adapted to the changing economic landscape. Additionally, we'll explore the emergence of corporate structures, labor management techniques, and financial practices that contributed to the growth of business and the overall economy. So to conclude, um, we're looking to um, into deepening our understanding of the intricate forces that shaped the economic trajectory of the United States in the late 1800s by analyzing industrialization factors, technological innovations, regional challenges, and management strategies. Um, we can strengthen our grasp of this crucial period in economic history. So I want to thank you for your engagement so far. And I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in the coming week. So thank you.